Hey, hey, kiddos. Are y'all there? Yeah, I'm late. Woohoo! Welcome to the News Overview! Take away two! Peanut Gallery. We're in the middle of like a snowstorm that like this whole this whole three weeks everybody's been freaking out about the snowstorms that are coming. And then they've amounted to basically nothing. Agnes! Yay! Agnes is back! Yay! Hey Kelly! Um, I'm cutting up your names right now. This is how far behind I am. Anyway, so then all of a sudden it's like we wake up this morning and it's snowing. It's like, oh, a light dusting. It's been snowing all day. We had to take our kids to school in the snow. I'm freaking out because I have like a teen driving a teen on icy roads. That's always fun. Um, so it's just been a nutty day. And then it's like <laughs> we had a three-way miscommunication with my staff. Hey, Nick. So, none of us showed up to work today. Nobody. Only Bob. Yell, Bob. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Bob shows up. I talked to Bob for like 20 minutes today on the phone because I'm like, I, I have something I need to discuss with you kind of privately. So, we'll just do it on the phone. Thinking that I had, you know, people here in the store covering the store. And then I start calling them to check in. And then, oh, I thought you were coming. Oh, I thought you were coming. This never happens. This never happens, but it happened today, and thank God Bob was here, um, so we had the store open, and we've been busy. I don't know why you people are out, <laughs> but I'm glad you are. <laughs> oh, thank you for being my Friday night date. Where's Agnes? Where's Agnes? Where's Agnes? So, um, the roads are icy. Agnes is uh, back at work. Um, right, Agnes? You're doing, you're doing good. You took a little hiatus to kind of you know, deal with this furlough, and I just heard from her, and um, it's too icy and awful for her to be driving all the way here. She's like 45 minutes away, but she is on here with us as uh, as a viewer. I can even maybe, I could even maybe pull you up. I could try that, Agnes, at some point tonight. I can pull you up so you can say hi, because your fans miss you, okay? So why am I cutting things out? Because I've been trying to print this for half an hour. This is my brain today. I've been trying to print out your names, those of you who signed up for the free drawing tonight. Oh, you would have picked her up? You would have driven to Odenton and back? God, Nick, you're such a good person. Um, I was printing to the wrong printer. It's been one of those days. It's been one of those days, you know. Is Mercury in retrograde? Maybe. Okay, but we're here. Agnes is with us in spirit. Hopefully she will be back with us in person as soon as she can get her ass over here uh, and there's safe roads, right? Right, Agnes? I hope so. I've missed having you here and your fans miss you too. All right, so I've got, I've got, okay, so let's talk about this free drawing, people. <laughs> you, you get to put your name in once, once, I should have said that, once. <laughs> so I go in here to print out these names. There are a lot of you, but not as many as I thought, because I see that, like, this many people signed up. But then when I went to run a report, it was only this many people. And I went, ha, 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 ha. So I called my assistant and I'm like, I have people who signed up to win a paintball and I don't know who they are. So it took us a while to figure out that y'all, <laughs> some of y'all thought you were gonna gain the system. Put your name in multiple times. <laughs> I'm actually flattered. I'm flattered that you would try to do that, but uh, you can't do that because uh, it doesn't equate. You only get your name in there once. So I have the names. All right, so I'm going to draw in a little bit. But I want you to look here because it could be you. It could be you. And we're also going to do another drawing for tonight. Okay, so I'm going to put a link here in tonight's live. Let me uh, pull it up. Um, tonight, you're not going to win, you're not going to win, and you can enter every week, you guys. You can enter every week, but you have to give me your email address each week, because then I can print it out on one page, okay? So, um, so just because you win, I mean, you're always entered to win. If one person wins every week, I'll have to learn to shuffle a little better, but that will be okay. It will be okay. Agnes, what? What do you mean, what? What, what? You're not, you're not here with me. I can't answer you quickly enough. 
me pull this up. All right, so, okay, are you ready, Kelly? Are you ready? I'm sorry for the hat inside, but I have, I have hat head now. <laughs> That's going to be the picture on Facebook. That's it, because I've been wearing my hat all day, because it's cold in here. So I'm sorry, I'll try to let you see my eyes there. Okay, ready? I'm so excited with how this turned out. I embellished just a little bit. So Agnes, um, we did a drawing last week to win the paint pour effect that I did. So we used a stencil, and we did a paint pour, and we used some leftover canvases. Y'all ready? I'm so, do you want to see my favorite one first? You want to see my favorite one? I'm going to show you my favorite one first. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put the link in there to sign up for this week's drawing. Ready? Can y'all see it? Can you see? What do you think? Give me some hearts if you like it. This is one of the options. Okay, if I pull your name tonight, you can win this one. So... I'm really happy with how this turned out. I know, it turned out. So here's what I did for you guys, if you win this. I pulled it off and it did pull off, okay? We're totally gonna do this in Crazy Ass Craft Club. Okay, we're gonna do a month of this because this was awesome. Um, there were some tricks to getting it off and, and everything, but it, it did work. But here's what happened. The there's a there's the lights really bright let me see if I can hold it up so I felt like the yellow was really pretty but it needed a little bit of oomph it needed some depth so I you if you win this you get a hand painted piece by me I painted the body I had to look up how to draw a body <laughs> and I painted the wings a little bit and I shaded them a little bit but it came off clean yes okay so this is option a so if you win you get to say I want a and then, you guys, B is cool too. Check out B. Isn't that cool? So this was the reverse stencil that we did last week. I also drew you the butterfly body, painted that in, okay? And I did a little embellishment on, I just highlighted, I just felt like it needed it because, you know, I have so much time to sit around. No, look, if something needs doing, I'm gonna do it and it needed doing. Oh no, am I cutting out? How can the network connection be off? All right, if it keeps going off, I'll turn this off and try to get on Wi-Fi, but it's just been a hot mess these days with the Wi-Fi. We're getting another upgrade. Um, okay, so this is option B, also a winner. I just think they're both awesome. And then guess what? Good, okay, good. Um, I can see now on my computer when it goes out too. Um, if we have to go out and come back in, we'll figure it out, we'll do it. Okay, so we have option this one and this one. And then I, I had more to make a third. And these have all been coated in uh, varnish, okay? So they're uh, UV protected and everything. Now this one I may need to do a resin pour on because uh, it might work. I'm gonna have to do some kind of thing because this, what do you think? All right, this is for a little, this is a little more moody, was the inverse of this see that so when I took off so if, like it would go like that okay hey Betty so when I took off the stencil from this one put it on this one um, I set them down and I was like I can make a whole other piece so I painted the background kind of shades of I don't know you like the all right she likes moody she likes the yellow. All right, well, we're going to see who wins in just a little bit, kiddos. I want to let everybody have a chance to jump on. Um, this one, I got to get the stick down a little better. So I think I, I glued some of it with E6000 because this one wasn't done on top of it. It was peeled off of another piece and put on. But I'm like, upcycle, right? We're going to upcycle. So I'm going to set these aside, and we will do the drawing. Let's do it in like 10 minutes or so. We'll do that. So what are we doing tonight? I am so far behind Valentine's Day. Oh my God. And I know what I wanna to make to have in the store and I haven't had a chance to do it, um, but y'all are gonna help me tonight, okay? Basically, you're helping me catch up with my homework, so thank you. Um, we sell these rings. Y'all remember all the felted work we did? 
Okay. Over the holidays. Oh, thank you. Okay, I got this from a crazy hat lady in New York. She's nuts. Agnes has one too. Right, Ag? Okay, so we made these cute little rings out of the felt page. Okay. I feel like a gangsta. Yo. <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay. Um, but getting colorful felt, as you guys know, was harder than we thought it was going to be. Um, it's the same with everything. Everybody just decides who needs color. Grays, blues, you know, you go try to find these sweaters and it's really hard to find the colorful ones. And then you do find them and they're pricier than the other ones. Like we have a little bit, I have a little bit left over of this one. I have this sweater, if you guys remember from some of our felting, but this won't work for the rings because it's not felt. So we're just, just going to throw that out of here because that won't work. Then... I found this. Y'all have to help me. I found this. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see the color of this, but it's fluorescent pink. Fluorescent. It's, um, it's not a Woolrich blanket. Hey, Gail. Um, it does have the stripes. <sighs> I don't want to cut it up. I actually, I don't want to cut it up. I mean, it's stained, but I've just never seen any wool blanket this neon color before. So I haven't decided if I'm going to cut this yet. And so I need to come up with a way to make something colorful so I can just put this on my bed. Um, I looked it up. I mean, it's probably Lonnie. Welcome back. I think it's, um, it is vintage. Smells vintagey. Not mothball-y though. Um, it's probably worth $50. I mean, I went on Etsy just to make sure I didn't have some like, you know, limited edition, crazy neon pink blanket thing. Um, but I got this, you guys, to make Valentine reeds and rings and now I don't, <laughs> don't want to cut it. It's just, so here's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna avoid cutting this, okay? Because look, look at that. Can you see that color here? It's just, it's really nice. And it's its already kind of felted. I mean, somebody already washed it. That's probably how it ended up. But I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it's like that piece of furniture where you're like, yeah, let's not paint that. And I'm kind of like, it looks like, so, okay, so. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the plan. Y'all are gonna help me. When I was trying to figure out these rings and making them different colors, I figured out how to dye the wool with the alcohol inks. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna cut out some wool. Oh, Agnes, yes, yes, yes. This is why I've missed you. So we're gonna cut these out. Yes, we're gonna cut out, we're gonna cut these out. I'm sorry, it's a, the light's a little hot, isn't it? And then we're gonna dye them. Um, so, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, you could just dye this. It's because it's, it's because it's, I'm sorry about that. It's because it's, uh, there, that's better. If I don't get too close or if I get close enough. All right, so this is just white. White you can find, cream you can find, faded out colors. Yes, it is bright. All right, is that better? I can turn off the overheads if we need to, but I think I was just, it was just the glare. Okay, so I think this will work. This is a blanket and I'm just, yeah, I'll try to get out of the hot spot. This will work. Um, and you do want the wool because there's a trick to the way that this is going to dye. Let me see if, if I click on there. Aha, there we go. It's because I've got the white. Let me, well, now it's too dark. All right, we'll keep trying that. I'll make sure when we, when we tilt it over. And I'm looking here to see. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut these out first. And then tonight's giveaway, oh. It would help if I had it here. Hold on. Do do. Wait here. If Agnes was here, she'd sing and dance. Sing and dance, Agnes. Do 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 do. Okay. For y'all who register tonight, I'm gonna send you one of these packs of alcohol inks. 
okay? It is a $15 value delivered to you. I will mail it to you or hand deliver if you are in my neighborhood. Or if you are right down the street, you can come pick it up on your own. <laughs> Save me the damn trip. No, um, I want somebody to win these because God, I want, um, because they're so fun to play with and I am experimenting in so many ways with these. Every day I find something else to do. Um, and we are gonna do a week of this, uh, the first month of crack. For those of you who've already joined, Crazy Ass Craft Coach, I'll put the link in here as well. We're gonna do um, a different activity each week. We're not gonna do a theme this month. And this is why. We're gonna have, we have, we have new people joining. They're gonna be joining all month long because we've got the deal going on for half the month. Y'all remember, it's $29.99, but up until the sixth, it's $19.99. So we're gonna be like welcoming people in and getting them situated. It's gonna be like orientation. So I don't wanna get complicated with them coming in halfway through the month and being like, well, I didn't say the beginning. So we're gonna do four separate, really fun experimental projects. And I think the theme of the month is though is going to be is taking something that we already know how to do and just turning it on its head. Okay, so I have an idea for this that's going to be, it's going to be so fun. I already looked it up. Uh, so that'll probably be week one. So get these. You can join now that you come. <laughs> Agnes, you poor thing. Oh my God, you poor thing. All right, so let's get started. I've got uh, Agnes's big shot here. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, how we're gonna make the flowers. Now, okay, let me think about this. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the Big Shot, but I'm also gonna show you how you don't need no Big Shot, okay? I want you guys to know that I'm all about like using tools when you can afford them, when you have them, or when your friend leaves them here. Agnes. Um, but you can also do everything I'm doing with stuff in your house, okay? That's a big theme of our group as well. Um, you can make your own alcohol inks. You can cut your own flowers. But for the sake of tonight, I do want to show off some mad moves here and uh, show you some fun things, okay? So let me um, move these around. We're going to do two sizes of flowers that will go on the rings. Yes, I'm using the Big Shot, the Sizzix. And these are die cuts. All right, so these are the Sizzix, S-I-Z-Z-I-X. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them off the Sizzix page. Also, a really good place, if you have a big shot, is to look on eBay. Because here's what happens with crafters. Crafters who don't join Crazy Ass Craft Club let their shit sit on the shelf for so long that they don't use it, and then they sell it on eBay. You know, that's where I should look for people. People who are selling off their craft supplies on eBay, I should invite to join the group. Um, but that's what happens. They, um, they buy all these, they have like 50 of them, and either they just decide they don't wanna create anymore, or they were for their school, or God knows what, and they sell them, like, you can get like 20, okay? So that's a really, y'all, y'all go find that, okay? So, let me move some stuff out of the way and tilt you over. I think we have, uh, I think we have, we have a few on here. Do y'all want to do the drawing? Do y'all want to do it now? I got to find something to put this in. Actually, you know what I'll do? Hey, Bob. Yeah. Draw? yeah. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these and I'm going to just dump them on. I'm just going to dump them here. Just, y'all see that. <laughs> just going to go like this. With all the names. All right, so Bob, I want you to close your eyes. Bob doesn't know. See, I have favorites, but Bob doesn't know you people. I don't have favorites. Yes, I do. I'm okay. Fine. All right, ready? So, on the count of three, I'm going to turn away. Bob, draw it. Draw it, Bob. Draw it. Just my, one. Where, where are they? Is this? this? Did I <laughs> where got are one? they? Yes, you got it? I got one. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's see who it is. Andrea. Andrea, Andrea Seiger, Andrea, are you on tonight? You don't have to be present to win. Look, it's a Biore strip. You don't have to be present to win. I should have said that. Andrea, I think Andrea is usually one of our replay viewers. 
So that's okay. We're going to list her as the winner. <laughs> y'all want to do, do y'all want to do one more? How about winner gets to pick her favorite and runner up gets to pick their second favorite? Cause I made three. Y'all want to do that? I want to see some hearts. I want to see hearts and shares if y'all want to win again. I'm not going to do anything. Bob's just going to stand here. Uh, I got one thumbs up. Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. I'm going to give two of them away. Okay. Because I'm crazy. Wait, take Andrea out of there. Okay. I'm walking away. <laughs> okay. One. Let's see who this is. Who the, all right. No, that's it. That's, that's it? it. Andrea oh. gets the first choice. Oh. And Jean. Jean, down the street, yay, Jean gets second choice. Oh, thank you, Rosa, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Andrea and Jean, awesome, you guys, that's so exciting. Yes, he is in that. Okay, um, he fits right in. So, these are our winners, I'm gonna set these aside. Andrea picks out number one, Jean gets to pick out number two, and we'll sell number three. We're gonna keep doing this, you guys. I, I really enjoyed it, because I think I was, I'm always inspired to make things that I sell, but knowing that I was giving it away, I think I was um, even more excited. Maybe that's why business is hard for me. <laughs> anyway, okay, we don't need this. Let's cut, let's cut it up. All right, so I've already cut up these squares, okay? There we go, I think we're on there pretty well. Let's move these, I'm not gonna throw these. I'm gonna move all this out of the way. Okay. All right, I've got plastic down for later. All right, can you see that? Awesome. I got some new cutting pads for Agnes's machine because um, I ruined the last ones. All right, so the way this works, if you guys remember, we'll put one down, put this on, Okay, put this on, and put this on. Now, now we're gonna make sure, we're gonna make sure it's not too, too, you gotta get your sandwich so it'll fit. And then we crank it. So my sandwich is a little too thick. So, because the this is thick, that's the only thing with these things, you guys, is you gotta be a little bit willing to keep um, reinventing. Sometimes you have to go through a few times to get it right. Yeah, that doesn't feel thick enough. So what I have been doing is, let me see if I find that. Hold on one second, kid. Well, here's what we can do. We can put another piece of felt on the bottom. You just gotta raise it up till you feel the right tension. Because you don't wanna ruin your cutter see. No, that's not it. I have, let me get the paper over here. One sec. All right. So what I do with these when I, when I'm having trouble getting the tension right is I sometimes just use like folded up paper. Okay, Gail, we'll see you, babe. Okay. Because sometimes you just need a little bit more. Nope. But I can feel it. It's close. It's close. You need some thicker. This is always the issue, but once that's why you should like once you get it right, cut everything at once, guys. Because once you get your tension right, nah. Let me just fold these over. Who's on there? Hello, Darlene. We are just getting our tension right on our machine. Okay, that feels good. 
You want it to go in pretty snug, but if you're like cranking on this too hard, you've gone, you've gone too far. See, that's too far. It's tricky. It is tricky. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this. So I have lots of different options to just raise it up. And you might be saying, well, Sue, I could have cut out six flowers by now, girlfriend. And I'd be saying, yes, but when I catch up, I'm gonna cut out 20. Let's try that. Ah, it's just tricky tonight. All right. I think I must be doing something wonky. Because it's not pushing up against it. Agnes, if you have a hint for me, let me know, girl. I did this right before. I don't know why it's all of a sudden it's being so weird. But you kind of just got to go at little increments, I think. Because at the time I did it, it was too much. All right. If I can't get this right, I'm gonna do the other version first. Yeah, it's not cutting. I could have just put this other sheet in here as thick as we're getting. Let me see if I was really too thick before. No, I wasn't. I think I had it wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I think we've got it. I think I was putting it in the wrong the first time and feeling like I was less off than I am. And then I just dropped the handle. Ugh. Okay, I think we got it. Let's put that in. We'll get to the dyeing, I promise. Yep, I had it the right the first time. I'm gonna push that through. Did it cut? Yeah, and there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, 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 you're right, Agnes. But actually, I had it right the first time. But I've been using just like thick paper, but that's Agnes is exactly right. You just need like a shim. All right, so this is what I've cut out. Okay, there, there, and there. All right, let's do that again. Let's do that again with a different one. I'm so glad I, I pre-cut out the squares so that I could take forever just to get the shim right. Okay, this one has two on there, so you can get a little bit bigger. All right, so this was right. Just get your sheet, because these should fit, because these are pretty standard height, but the, the difference is how thick your felt is, okay? So if your felt is really thick, this sandwich isn't gonna work. But it wasn't super thick felt. That's why I was kind of surprised it was giving me so much trouble. So we got it. We got this. Let's go through. So hold your, hold it together here. Hold your little sandwich. This presses down. So this will get cut up over time. Don't worry about that. Just buy another one. I mean, like, it'll work for like, you know, a hundred times or so. And then this is, this is the feeling you want. It's a little bit of pressure and you can kind of hear it crackle a little bit. And then you know that it's gone through. Okay, ta-da, and voila. Okay, and if, if it missed a little bit, you can kind of just pull it. You can kind of, um, if you need to, you can cut a little bit. You can adjust, you can put in another shim. Um, there you go. I actually don't mind when you tear it a little bit because it gets frayed on the side, which is kind of cool. All right, so there's a bigger one. Ta-da, ta-da. Okay, let's bring out this other one. So basically, let me show you this before I take it apart, and then I'll show you what we can do. So basically, it's just a concentric circle, but it's a scalloped concentric circle, okay, for these. But here's the thing, you guys. You can take off the part that's left, okay? Get kind of a circle. Doesn't have to be exact. It's nice if you, if 
It's nice if you're so talented that you can do that. I am not. Mine's a bit of an egg, but that's okay. Okay? Let me get up here and show you. And now all you do is just, now what I do, you can just do a concentric circle and it'll look more like a camellia, or you can kind of like wiggle. Wiggle it. Wiggle it just a little. So pull it tight, pull it loose. It's kind of like you're going in. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just curving it in. And that's creating the petals. You see that okay? So what you do is you kind of push it like to the outside and then just let and pull it while you curve it around. So you're not trying to like do a fussy cut. You're letting, you're letting your other hand do the work for you. Okay, there, I just did it. Now, see? So if you don't have a big cut, you can just, and I know it's kind of funky because it's like all over the place, but it's okay because look, once we turn it into a flower, hello, Julie, Lisa, hey, girlfriend. Once we turn it into a flower, the randomness is your friend. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because flowers are not perfect and people are perfect. Life's not perfect. Okay, there we go. Ta -da. Right? So I love this and I love my big one because I have to kind of do this in mass quantities. Um, but you don't need it. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like when we do it with the, uh, the Big Shot cutout. All right, so some people prefer, Melissa, hello my darling. Um, some people prefer to glue it first. I like to glue it when I'm all done. Okay, so I've gotten that then. And then it feels really good when you just pop that back on. And there you go. So look, right? <laughs> Sorry, you're late. You're tardy. <laughs> All right, so let's dye this. Let's dye these things. We've taken too long on this cutting part. I just wanted to show you why I'm doing that. Let's. I'm not going to hurl this across the room, Agnes. Don't worry. Okay, so. Let's move all this crap aside. All right, I'm going to put in the link again, you guys. All right, so if you sign up tonight's drawing next week, you get a pack of these, okay? Sent to you, mailed to you, dropped off, thrown at your house on my way home. Whatever works, we'll do it. Um, $15. $15. And you can pick your colors. I'm not going to, you know, you can pick them. All right, so now I'm gonna lay these out here. I want you guys to see this a little better. Can you see what I'm doing? All right. So now we have these here. And here is the fun part. I'm gonna put on some gloves. Okay. All right, yell out some colors you want tonight, kids. Yell out some colors. Let me see it. We got a little bit of a delay, but I think I can, uh, we're not too far behind here. If you yell out some colors that you would like to see and you make sure now that the, we haven't lost our light. You see that all right? Everybody good? Now, you guys, I do appreciate it if you share this. We do want as many people learning how to do fun things on their own. Um, so I always appreciate that. Thank you very much. Also, I'm going to plug our crazy ass craft club. You have, I think five more days to join at the reduced price. All right. So 20 bucks people, 20 bucks. I'll loan you or you'll loan me a penny, whatever. Um, and we're gonna get this party started. So I'm gonna start, since we're doing Valentine's, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out some colors. We got watermelon, 
this works best with um, highly contrasted colors. I'm gonna get a, a, a gold, purple, yep. I'm gonna have an indigo. Let me find the purple here. Yep, we got a, a purple, okay. And let's get a green going in here. Um, metallics aren't really our friend here. They're not really gonna do what we want them to do. There's a peach. All right, so we've got some good colors going. Can y'all see okay? Let me know if you want any closer. So here's what I learned doing this. I can't see here. Is it ink? Yes, so these are alcohol inks, okay? And they're by Ranger, Ranger Inks. We sell them here at the store. You can also buy them on my website if you don't win tonight. They usually come in like three different colors um, and they all go together really nicely. That's what's great about them. And when two of them mix, they usually make a spectacular color together. That's what's so fun about these. Um, they don't really turn to mud unless you really, really overdo it. <laughs> Which I've been known to do, but they 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 have a tendency to say stay with really crisp colors, and you can use them to dye fabric. You can use them on impervious surfaces. I used mine to dye a skirt. Um, one of our crack members used them to dye a chair. It was amazing. I posted a picture of it on the website, so y'all need to check it out. So here's the, here's the trick with this. I'm gonna show you on a little scrap first. Okay. I'm making sure I'm there. So when you put this on this thick felt, look, look what happens. It sinks kind of into it. So that's why you really need to wear these gloves. Do you see there on the line? It's kind of cool, but here's what you need to do. You can almost see it's like a skin underneath. Let me hold that there for you so you can see. All right, and see it's starting to bleed over here. It's really wild. So what you need to do when you're doing this is push it and mush it to get the inks to move around. There you go, like that, see? Now you can see that band. And when you do your flower, you're gonna see that band, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about. And I'm also gonna get a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Because if we put that on there, then we can even move it around even easier. See how that did it? And the, it, this'll dry out. But now look at that, we kind of have this cool ombre effect. All right, so let me show you let me show you one way that you can do this. I'll do this one here. Looking to see. You know what I need to do? I need to X mark the spot. That's what I need to do. So so I stay like right I go like right there, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna coat it in the alcohol first. I'm gonna mush it around. Oh look, I just got my, I just got my X on there. I'm gonna put that in there first, and here's why. Because that way it'll disperse a little easier, okay? And I want the tips to be that red. So I'm gonna kind of go around and kind of dot the tips. I'm gonna kind of mush it. You can't mess this up because you're gonna um, you're gonna smush it all together in the end anyway. Okay? And see, it's see how it's kind of going out to the edge there. If you want, you can put a little bit more of the alcohol on to really get it to mush. Okay? So you can pounce it. All right, so now I'm gonna put on a little bit of the, is this making sense, guys? I'm, I wanna go over here so I can see the, your um, 
comments. There we are. Okay, now I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put some yellow on the inside. I'm gonna kind of mush it around a little bit so I can have like another color. And this is why I do it per flower. You could just do it on the whole on the whole piece and then cut it out, but you're gonna waste a lot of your ink that way. Okay, there we go. So now we've kind of made like this tie dye color. There we go. You see that? Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's do blues and purples. Blues and purples. All right, so I'm just gonna crumple it in my hand. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna kinda soak it. I just find that that works easier if you soak it. Okay, put it down. I'm also gonna make some wreaths out of this. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of around the outside. And if you want to, you can dilute this you don't have to use pure alcohol like I'm, pure ink like I'm doing. I'm just kind of, you can kind of dilute it a little bit so you're not using as much as your ink. You can put it, you can put it like in a dropper. Okay, and then let's just kind of rub that in. This just gets you the purest color if you do it kind of straight on with just the alcohol. These sold so well when we made the rings with these. Let's do, let's do green. I don't know, let's see how this looks. So I'm just gonna kinda go around. How are we doing on time? Up. Oh, I wasted too much time trying to get the thing cut, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap this up soon. I'm gonna show you how this looks. And there we go. Oh, that one's a pretty one. And you can add, you can add all kinds of colors. All right, we'll do one more here. Which one, red and yellow. Yes, we did a red and yellow. We've got a purple and green. Let's do like a blue. Let's do a turquoise one. Maybe turquoise and a light pink or something. And you don't have to go around like I did. Like you could just like be more random. I kind of like the way it gets to the tips. You know, you'll see once I move this all together. And once these dry, they're done, okay? You're good. Don't pull it, don't pull it this way. You don't wanna do that because uh, you might pull it apart. I'm actually gonna leave that like that. And you can press down the yellow, the white showing through. Okay. All right. Let that one go. Now, check it. And these dry so fast. So here, we tilt up so we have some better light. It's like we either have no light tonight or too much light. All right. Okay, so now, remember how we made these? So now, when we take our little end there, I don't know if I can do this with the gloves on. <laughs> oh yes, I'll do some ombre pink for sure. Okay, so now, I'm gonna try not to move on you guys so that we can. Here we go. Let me stay in there. So then. What do you think? Pretty awesome, huh? And then I'll put it either on a little wreath or I'll put it on the ring. 
I'm very happy with how these are turning out. Yeah, and you see, it didn't take too long, so let me show you another one. So I've got that one. Let's do the purple one. So on some of them, you'll have like, you can decide if you want the inner or the outer. You know, it doesn't really matter because you'll have, you'll have both sides showing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these dry overnight. Thank you, Lisa. I'm gonna let these dry overnight before I glue them but I wanna show you guys the final result. So you just kinda of pull it around. I've gotten pretty good at this. I've done it enough. I feel like that's all I did over the holidays was make little felt flowers, but boy, I loved it. I must have some setting on my camera, you guys, that it keeps blowing it out. Kristen, why are you afraid of the inks? You're bold and brazen. Come on, girl. There you go. Let me see if I take off my glove, if I can show you that better. What's nice about, yes, yes, absolutely. On the hat, on the jacket, right? So, right, right there. I could pin it up right there, a little barrette. I mean, these things are awesome. And then you don't have to, I mean, we're basically just dyeing the wool purr. But you might be like, well, Sue, you know, I have a purple sweater. Okay, I hear you. But here's the thing. When you get all this variegated color and the way it kind of, the, the wool is almost like a sponge. It, it, it kind of sucks it in. Like we use the alcohol to kind of spread it out, but it kind of pulls in. So what ends up happening is you have these bits on the tips that are white, but then you have the color coming through. I don't know how to describe it. You just have to try it. You just have to try it. Um, and you'll see why it's a little bit different than, yes, very bow wow. All right, so here's the back end, as you can see. All right, let's do one more. We'll do this blue one because, um, oh, you guys, this was the one we cut ourselves too. So that's good, we can kind of see how this turns out. Okay. And I just did this one kind of spotty, so we didn't really worry if it was even, because we're kind of using both colors to create the flower effect. The only thing you wanna make sure is that you leave a little landing pad, because this is where all your glue will go and hold it all together in your little flower sandwich. Yep, it's a winner. It's a winner. Okay. All right. Yay. All right, you guys. So, register, and I'm going to send you a pack of these so that you can make your own. I'm going to make sure our artwork gets to the winners if you guys got in here a little late um andrea is our first place winner Jean is our second place winner first place gets to choose which butterfly speaks to them okay one two or three three <laughs> um and i'll keep one i'll keep the last one for the shop and sell it for a hundred dollars I don't know if I can get hundred up. Um, thank you so, so, so much. You guys, this is the last time I'm going to be on here to bug you um, about Crazy Ass Craft Club. Regularly $29.99, $19.99 until the 6th. Why such a random date? Because we were going to launch this group February 1st through the 6th. We were going to do one week launch and then we had everything ready. We're like, what are we waiting for? It's like we already bought all the appetizers for the party and we already had the cake. Uh, we already had the candles. So we said, Psh, let's just, let's just do it. Um, and so what we decided to do was just give an introductory rate. And then after that date, it'll be 29. You can cancel it anytime. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I ain't no strangers on here. Um, uh, cancel at any time if you're like, oh my God, I cannot take her anymore and her potty mouth and her crazy creative ideas. I just, I can't take any more. You, you can cancel, but you won't. 
you won't because we will love you and embrace you and have so much fun with you. Am I right? Am I right, my bold and brazen babes? And front porch Nick, who's still a babe? Um, I'm going to go home. Wish me luck. It's just a block of ice out there. Um, but I wanted to come and be here with you guys tonight. So I'm super excited. I'm going to put this link in one more time to register. This is just to register to win the ink. And then I will, because I only have one thing in my copy paste, and then I'll put a link. Um, Miss Agnes, do you think you can make it next Friday? Your fans would like to see you. So. <laughs> All right. Yes. 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 Agnes. 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 All right. So I'm glad everybody's back at work. Um. Good night, everybody. Wait, I got to sing. It's the new Sue Review. Come and ride at you with Tanglewood Sue and hopefully accidental Agnes too next week. Mwah! Join me, people. Share. Get people to join my club. Do it. I'd appreciate it.